Yeah, very, very happy to see this. Um, but director Damien Leone uh, teases an upcoming horror movie with Sam Raimi's Ghost House Pictures, which is super cool. Um, I think if there's any place that he's going to end up, Ghost House is definitely an interesting um, production company. I mean, obviously, he comes from uh, kind of do-it-yourself DIY uh, horror filmmaking, uh, just as Sam Raimi did. So I think that they share a kinship there. But Ghost House has made some interesting flicks. I mean, not every single one is a banger, but they do have a lot of good stuff. Like, they behind things like Crawl. And, like, if we just pull them up real quick... Um, Drag Me to Hell, of course, which is, uh, you know, um, Sam Raimi again. But yeah, I mean, if you look at their just their little uh, repertoire here, we've got a lot of winners. Don't Breathe. Again, that's another good one. Uh, they were behind Evil Dead Rise. Okay, now we're going back here. So 30 Days of Night was great. Uh, Drag Me to Hell was great. Um Evil Dead, the remake. Uh, but then, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like, Don't Breathe is great. Um, they do have a lot of uh, questionable films, I would say, here with things like, you know, I know a lot of people like The Grudge and things like that. But, I mean, we're talking uh, 30 Days of Night, Dark Days, not the best. Uh, the Poltergeist remake, um, you know, Don't Breathe 2. I never saw that one, but I know you did, Luke, and you have uh, some great. comments on that. Yeah, I did not enjoy not, it at all. Um, to be not honest. fantastic, but, but you know, like for me, I guess what I'm most excited about is the story that we're seeing. Uh, where you know, we saw the first Terrifier, not big fans of it. It did come out, obviously, mm. we've talked about it several times on the channel. It was just to showcase kind of uh, proof of concept a little more to get dive into the storytelling, and then we we got that with Terrifier 2, where we're getting more narrative heavy things and we're really opening up a lot of uh, windows and in questions to the lore that's established with art, the clown and, and everyone else that he's establishing in terror. Um, so like now seeing that he's being paired with ghost house pictures with Sam Raimi, um, I, I think a lot of the things that maybe ghost house has produced in the past, maybe was a kind of product of maybe not a clear vision or a love for something where I feel like Damien Leone probably goes into most of his his projects, at least what we've seen with Terrifier, with a with a great love. So I feel like, you know, that pairing of Damien Leone with Sam Raimi's guidance, maybe in, in some kind of advice along the way, I think they only be a plus. So I'm really intrigued to see what he's going to be doing. Obviously, there'll be a little bit more money behind this um, than what he's used to playing with, especially with Terrifier and even with Terrifier 2. And I know, I think there was a, a big, um, and during that article, I, I think a lot of people have really focused in on him mentioning Terrifier 3 and, and saying, you mm -hmm. know, uh, that's either going to be happening before or after Terrifier 3, pretty much confirming that we're getting that third. I mean, we all kind of assumed that we were getting it, but he kind of really made it plain as day saying we are Terrifier 3. It's just kind of um, when the projects are going to fall. So, you know, I, I think this news is exciting on all accounts where, He's he's definitely going to be getting into bigger and better things as well as um, we're going to get that Terrifier 3, at least the third installment in the franchise. But, you know, one of the things that also got me kind of thinking here is you mentioned, you know, sa similar background to Sam Raimi. Um, it could be intriguing to ever see if we're opening up the Evil Dead universe. I think Damien Leone would be an interesting choice. You know, I don't I don't think. Um, there's a horror director out there that probably doesn't have their own Evil Dead pitch. So I could easily seeing these two sitting in a room together and Damien Leone being like, hey, you know, I have this idea um, that I would do for the Evil Dead. So it's like we could be kind of going off into multiple different universes with the Evil Dead franchise. And Damien Leone, I think, would be a great pick to do one of those uh, films. I agree. Um, I definitely like Damien Leone working with Raimi. I think that that's a great uh, bond. Like I said, I think they share that kinship. But uh, really coming away from this, all I can say is that I hope the Terrifier 3 comes first. Uh, I think that they need to strike while the iron is still hot on that. And uh, if we can get it in two years or so, uh, I think they could have another bona fide success on their hands, especially if they keep it at the quality of a Terrifier 2. But hey, we all knew that Damien Leone was going to have a uh, pretty lengthy and great career after the success of Terrifier 2. So uh, let's hope that uh you know we see some collaboration with sam raimi maybe some collaboration with james wan and uh, the other greats in uh, hollywood as we continue